Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a Daiso haul. I'm really excited to share with you. I know not every state has a Daiso, so um, some of you may not know what Daiso is. It is a Japanese dollar store, basically. Um, they have things ranging in price from 175 and up. I don't know what the cap is. I wanna say maybe like $10, $12. I'm guessing, that's a complete guess, you guys. Um, but I mostly try to find the things that are only $1.75. Sometimes I'll spend like $2.50 or three or whatever, but I try to stick with that $1.75 range. Um, but I'm really excited to share with you guys, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys are these really cool earring holders. They are a really nice heavy metal, not flimsy at all you guys. It came or you can choose from white and black. I went ahead and bought both of them. I really like the colors. They look really sleek and expensive. Again, they're super sturdy and I only spent $175 on these I believe. Um, yeah, so usually what I do with my stud earrings is I have like an organizing tray in one of my drawers but I tend to lose space in there and all of them are thrown into little like organizing cubby type things or compartments, I'm not sure. And um, it's hard to like find the matching ones. So I was thinking of transferring everything over into he onto here and putting it on my dresser. So I think that these would be great for Christmas time for any young girls in your life, even older ones. And you can do like a gift basket or a gift bag and kind of like add to this, accumulate different things having to do with beauty. So I thought that these were really cool and I really wanted to share them. So I have those two things. I also picked up, these are called index sticky notes. There's 25 sheets. You guys, these are so cool for my homeschool. Um, anytime I'm doing planning or organizing out my chapters or whatever in the book, you can use these for anything with your home, with your office, your home office, anything you guys want. Note taking, if you guys do happy planners, if you guys use planners at all, these would be really great to use for that. Even if you guys do um, junk journaling, stuff like that, I think that these would be really cool to use. Oops, sorry about the noise. Oh, wait, I wanna share with you, I didn't even notice. On the base of these earring stands, they have these little skid-free pads, so it won't slide on any surface that it's on, so that's pretty cool. Something else I saw that I thought was really cute, this is a removal cleaner for pet hair. It's a cat, you guys. It's like, let me see if I could open this. It's a little cat. I thought this would be perfect to throw into my purse or a bag, a backpack, anything in the car, um, your glove box. So say you're out somewhere and you don't want one of the rollers, I thought maybe these would work. You literally just wipe off the fur with this. It feels like a foam texture. It's pretty thick. I'm not sure how well this works, but I thought that that was kind of cool. So I wanted to pick that one up. Something else I picked up, this is gonna be for my son for a stocking stuffer. This is a bike bell, $1.75 you guys. It's a one touch bell for a bicycle. So you just use this to put, I think that's, no that's the actual bell. You use this to put around the bar. It shows here in the picture. You tighten it with the Phillips and then there you go. This is the little switch to sound the bell. So I thought that would be fun for his bicycle. Something else that I've actually picked these up a couple times from Daiso. My kids love them. They are so old school. They remind me of my childhood. It's like a little ice cream cone, but it has like this little switch here that you flick and the foam piece pops out. It's on a string. It's really fun. The kids can like play hit each other with it, you know, pop them at each other. They have a lot of fun with these. So I picked that up. So I went ahead and picked up this plastic rice paddle. It is a scooper for your rice, like a spoon, a rice spoon. Um, it has a little cat on it. I thought it was really cute. I thought it was kind of fun. I like that it's black. It has kind of like these little ridges on it or dots, I'm not sure, but it says meow on it. I thought that that was kind of cute, different, but cute. So I picked that one up. I also picked up these refrigerator um, storage. 
Now, they have a picture of sodas on here. We don't drink soda typically, but I thought these would be good for like fruit pouches, fruit cups, yogurts, string cheeses, anything you wanna organize in your refrigerator. Especially for us, again, with homeschooling, you know, the, if it's easy to grab, it's easier for the kids. So I could just say, go grab, you know, your yogurt or your uh, cheese sticks, and they just can grab it from me. So I went ahead and picked two of these up. Again, these are $1.75 as well. I went ahead and picked up this really cute, tiny little bone. This is just a little dog toy. My dog likes all different size toys. I'm finding that he just loves playing with whatever. So I went ahead and picked this up. It looks like a little steak or something. I'm not sure, it looks like meat, uh-oh. Okay, so that's it with that little container there. I'm gonna move into my next basket here, full of goodies. So I thought that these would be really cute in my kids um, stockings for stocking stuffers. They are silicone popsicle, what are these? Popsicle makers. So Minnie and Mickey, I thought that they were super cute. You could pour any type of juice or maybe a smoothie into here and freeze it as a popsicle. So this is what it looks like on the back here. And it says, place this product on a flat surface, fit this applied stick all the way in, finally pour juice, and then you freeze it. So I thought that that would be really fun. So I went ahead and picked those two up for them. Something else I picked up, I thought that this would be great for our homeschool. I always refer back to homeschool. And when I do, just if you don't homeschool, just think of the kids that are in school, your kids that go to either public or private, or even if you just, I don't know, like having things like this on hand for the kids to play with. Um, but this is actually Japanese play money, and it literally looks like Japanese money. So I picked this up for our geography. We are doing world geography this year and next year. So I thought having this on hand would be really cool when we get to um, Japan. So I picked that up. Um, this one was also $1.75 as well. So that I'm super excited for. So my son was there with me and he saw this um, little sponge kit. <laughs> It's a sponge set, not a sponge kit, but it comes with these cute little panda bears and he really wanted it. It's literally for the kitchen to clean dishes. So I'm like, you know what? I'll put this to use. Not sure how it works, but there are four of them. I thought that they were really cute too. So I will definitely use those in the kitchen. Something else he wanted was this little grow octopus. We've used these multiple times. They do really grow. And I think you could find something similar at the Dollar Tree, but this was $1.75 and that is the octopus. Another thing he loves to play with are these little grow capsules. These ones are dinosaurs. You literally just put them in like a cup of water or a bowl of water. The capsules kind of disappear and then you have this little tiny sponge that is in the shape of a dinosaur. So he loves these. He actually plays with these in the bathtub and they are perfect. If you guys again have preschoolers, not that you guys have to homeschool, but if you have preschoolers or younger kids, you can always get one of the white tubs, like dishwasher tubs, I think that's what they're called, um, from the Dollar Tree, fill it with water, put them in it, and put like little cups and little spoons and things like that, and it's a sensory bin, so they'll be able to play with them in the water, they could pour water, add their little um, dinosaurs or fish or whatever you find in the capsules. These I think you can find at the Dollar Tree sometimes as well. Um, but that's really good for the kids to learn like um, hand-eye coordination, builds muscles in their fingers to prepare them for kindergarten and learning how to write and stuff like that. So just a little tip there. Okay, so I was really excited to see <laughs> to see these. I don't know, I just thought, man, this could be a million dollar idea right here. So it is a toilet handle you guys you literally attach both of these to your toilet on the edge of the actual toilet cover and then the toilet seat where you know men have to lift up i thought that this was so much more sanitary than it being on the seat i don't know why 
because once it's dirty, it's dirty. But literally all you have to do, <laughs> I'd be crazy and I'd have like a Clorox wipes container there and I would tell whoever uses it, except for my son, he's too little. But I'd be like, okay, because it's all family here anyways. I'd be like, okay, you guys, use the little wipe when you're done with the handle, you know, to wipe the handle, throw it away, and then there you go. These little handle, handles are super cool. Let me know if you guys think that this is a pretty cool invention. I don't know if I've thought it all the way through, but I think that it's kind of cool. So I picked that up. Something else I picked up, I thought that these would be perfect to use around your sinks in like the bath. Oh, see, it shows here, kitchen, bathroom, um, you know, the toilets, the baths, vanities. Perfect little precise brushes to get around your faucets, you know, the handles to turn on cold and hot water. You know where it kind of starts to get grimy around there? I thought that these would work perfect. So I picked these up. And they're really cute because they have these little hooks on them so you could hook them up somewhere. I don't know, maybe in like your cabinet when you open your cleaning cabinet, you can put little um, command hooks on your cabinet door and have these hanging there so it doesn't take up space. That'd be kind of cool. Something else I picked up, I thought that these were really cool. They're chopsticks, but they have different types of dogs on them. I thought that that was really cute because we have a puppy. We love dogs. This is Animal Bamboo Chopsticks. They come with four different sets, but look at how cute these little dogs are. I thought that that was so cute. So I went ahead and picked that up. So the next thing I have here, I picked up this Mickey Mouse ice tray. I thought that this was really fun. So my daughter likes to make little chocolates. So she has one of the little chocolate melting pots to do like cake pops and stuff like that. So she likes to melt the chocolate and add them to different little ice trays and things like that and to freeze them or put them in the fridge. Also, the kids have really been enjoying pouring like apple juice and stuff like that into little ice trays or the silicone ice trays that have different designs and they eat them like that. So I went ahead and picked that up for them. Also, okay, this is another one that I'm like, that is pretty cool. So these are draining sink strainers that hide debris. So I thought that these were kind of cool. It comes with three of them. You can see here on the bottom, this is the part that would actually be sitting in your drain. And if anything were to fall down your drain, it would catch it, like hair, anything like that. Maybe you're putting on your earrings and one of the backs fall off and tries to get down the drain. This will actually catch it. So that is the top. It has a little opening here and then that is the bottom that's inside your drain. So I thought that this one was pretty cool. So I went ahead and picked this up. I wanna try it out. Those are These items are kinda of cool for stocking stuffers as well. Um, so I wanted to share them with you guys, especially before Christmas. Okay, I have a few items left. So this one, is a Mickey Mouse egg shaper. Isn't that super cute? My daughter loves making eggs right now, so I thought that this would be really fun. You can even do like pancakes and stuff like that inside of these as well. I thought that these would be really fun, so I went ahead and picked this one up. So my kids use chopsticks, as you can see, but we usually have the, the training ones that have like the, the connected part at the top. So I saw this little I don't know what this is called. It doesn't say on it, but it's like a child connecting piece that holds the chopsticks together to make it easier. But this one is in white. I believe they had a brown and a black one, but this is the one that my son or daughter chose. I'm not sure which one chose this, but it just connects to the top of the chopsticks. So you can see here on the back, it helps you be able to keep the chopsticks together when you're learning how to use them. So I thought that this would be really fun for them to use. I thought that would be cool. Okay, so I saw these two things and these are mobile power plug stickers. So I thought that these would be really cool because we do have electronics and sometimes we get confused on whose plugs are whose and the kids are fighting over them. So these are actual stickers that you could connect to all of your electronic plugs. So I went ahead and picked this set up for my daughter and I went ahead and picked this set up for my son. So they can use these for their power plugs. These are perfect, again, for stocking stuffers, for little gifts, if you're adding together a bunch of little things into a gift. I thought that that would be fun. 
Another thing I picked up was this cool basket. You can use this anywhere for organizing, you guys. You can use this in your drawer for like socks and underwear and stuff like that, bras. You can use this in your refrigerator. It has this little handle to pull in and out for different foods. You can use it in your pantry. For me, I use these in our um, carts for school. They're like roll around carts from Ikea. And um, I stick my books in them facing, you know, the book stand straight up and down in them. And I I have three of these across the top rack of my my rolling cart and so it holds all my books and teacher keys and things in place so that's what I use this for so literally you guys can use this for anything you can put them in your bathrooms under your sinks you can have cleaning supplies in here literally anything your guys' hearts desire you can use this for so I really liked the color I have mine in white but I'm like you know what I'm gonna pick this up in this pretty minty teal color but that is it, you guys. That's all I have to share with you guys today. Thanks for clicking on this video, hanging out with me. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this channel here on YouTube. I would love to have you. But thanks again, guys. Be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.